What's up YouTube? Uh, this is Chris with MusicCityDriver.com coming out to you with another video. Um, I just thought of this a little bit ago. Um, I'm an anthropologist by training um, and actually my day job is heavily involved with anthropology so sometimes I sit around thinking about things like this. So um, I have been on several different forums and Facebook pages etc reading about the differences between Uber and Lyft passengers. So um, most people say um, that Lyft passengers are not as rude. They're more respectful. They're just plain nice. Um, and I'm, I'm actually guilty of that myself. I feel like Lyft passengers are more respectful and more nice. Um, I don't know. It just seems like, seems like they are. However, when you think about it, most passengers, Uber or Lyft or both, most likely use both apps. Um, in fact, I've had several people tell me that they use both apps, and basically, I've had I've actually had even people tell me that they turn both apps on at the same time, kind of like drivers do, um, and request the ride. And whichever gets get whichever one gets there first, they'll cancel the other one. I don't know how often that happens, but anyway, it led me to it led me to think about the fact that if most passengers are using Uber and Lyft both, then how can they possibly be nicer if they're Lyft passengers? Maybe there are Uber passengers most of the time just happen to get Lyft that night because it wasn't, it wasn't prime time, it got there fast, um, etc. So it made me wonder if there's something going on psychologically, um, culturally there. Um, so, I just want, I'm just interested in what people have to think have to say about this. So, um, is Lyft basically having a placebo effect where um, just because you like the company better, you feel like it's a more ethical company than Uber? Um, are you assign, ascribing a a nicety to the passengers more than Uber passengers because Uber is the evil, um, greedy, sexual harassment, you know, negative media image, Travis Kalanick's image, of course he's gone, but his phantom still remains. So um, I'm just curious about this. I, I think that there may be some kind of underlying cultural structure here that I feel like is permeating um, the rideshare industry where Lyft is seen as kind of the good guy and Uber is seen kind of as the bad guy. And I was just curious what everybody's thoughts were about that. So. Um, post below what your thoughts are on this. Um, are Lyft passengers genuinely nicer, genuinely more respectful, less rude, less obnoxious, etc.? Or are they just the same and uh, just because they're on a Lyft ride, um, maybe they act nicer if they're on a Lyft ride. Maybe you perceive them as nicer because they're on a Lyft ride. I'm just really genuinely curious about this. So anyway, guys, um, just wanted to put that out there real quick. I appreciate you watching and taking the time to watch this. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and comment below, like I said, with your um, comments about this. Are Lyft um, passengers just nicer? Um, or do they act more nice when they're in a Lyft than they do in an Uber? Um, let me know. I'm just really genuinely curious to see where this goes. So anyway, guys, have a great night or a great afternoon. It's actually only one o'clock here. Um, and I'll be out and about driving later. So if you guys are out and about driving, be safe and drive safe.